Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading for September. Thank you guys so much for the loves, the shares, the likes. I really appreciate that, all right? I really do appreciate all the support to my channel. Um, Scorpio, I don't know what's going on with you guys, but I want to do your reading different this month. Like, I just want to really have that one-on-one -on -one conversation, all right? I just need some Scorpio quality time with you guys. <laughs> Um, I do have a lot of Scorpio in my chart as well. Um, I feel this, this warm, fuzzy feeling coming from you guys. Like this, when you drink a hot cup of tea or coffee or anything like that, cozy feeling that goes through, like goes like that. I feel that. I feel that movement. Like I don't know how to place that, that feeling basically. But I also see, I oh, keep hearing these sort of 80s love songs. And then Diana Ross comes in. <laughs> and it's like, it's just, it's just, it, it's, yeah, it's a little, uh, it's just a certain type of energy that's coming through for you guys. So I'm just going to roll with that. Um, I'm going to get a spirit message for you to just see where where they want us to go with this reading because right now i'm just opening opening up my energy for you guys i'm channeling for you and i don't know where this reading is gonna go because i'm getting all kinds of mixed signals so let's just follow the cards follow the guidance that's coming through let's see what you guys got for scorpio what do we need to talk about for this month we have oh we have two you're getting a little hello from heaven and you have the card study your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them they know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and sy symbols to show you how much they really love uh, sorry they really love you the proof they're with you at this time so to prove there with you at this time, look at the symbols, the butterfly. I'm sorry, I have to look, take a closer look. The coins are very important, the dragonfly. And then we have, what is this? Oh, the feathers, of course. I'm sorry, it's very hard to see in the screen, but it's like little signs from heaven that their, their energy is around you, that they want to connect with you. So you're getting a hello for heaven, which is beautiful. Maybe, especially if you just recently lost somebody, then it's just such that warm feeling, that cozy feeling of like a hug is almost what's coming true. Now I can place that feeling better. It's almost like receiving that love by the touch, by an energy you exchange with them. Even though they may not be physically here anymore, it's... The love is still existing. You still have existing love for that person or for their soul. It's a soul to soul connection. So even though they've passed on, um, it's still an active energy because love is an energy. So you're getting, you know, keep an eye out for the signs this month. If that is something that's connecting to you because it was an important message, but that's also why it came out with a second one for the more general energy. All right, spirit has his own way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an important, uh, sorry, this is an opportunity to expand your mind. So yes, some of you may be going back to school, maybe night school, anything like that. But overall, this could signify also you know um how you deal with certain things spiritual things you can learn more about astrology or starting to pick up your own tarot deck and, and start to really study that deck for um you know for yourself so um this can mean multiple things but sometimes it's really good to get that energy flowing again having more uh, being more excited about life in general um when you learning something new sometimes we can have that urge that is a perfect thing to do during Virgo season, okay? I'm going to take a sip of water because my throat chakra is all over the place. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Let's jump into the tarot. Which deck will we use? Let's jump into this. I gave this one a break. It was earlier on. But 
I think we can use it again. Let's see what's happening for my Scorpios. Oh, well, we have one card that's already flipped over and that's the Justice. The Justice card coming through. That's of course because Libra season is coming in by the end of... Um, sorry, by the end of September. So, if you're seeing symbols of um, owls, owls, uh, owl, oh wow, that word in English though, owl, owls, yes, there it is. Um, <laughs> that means that justice is around the corner. If you're seeing them, you know, whether that's like a real life owls, owl <laughs> or it's one you know it's just a certain painting or a certain thing that keeps showing up in your feed or keeps showing up wherever you go outside um it's sort of like a reinsurance like listen we're working on justifying the situation you're getting the thing that you deserve basically so for some of you it's much needed justice what are they getting justice for what is scorpio getting justice for could be dealing with a Libra, Scorpio. Um, oh, that's why. The star card. Could also be dealing with an Aquarius. But overall, you're getting that recognition you need. Th deserve, sorry. It's about a wish coming true, something you've worked for, something you've studied for almost, and getting that wish come true for you. So something is about to pay out, but it will make you really happy. You see, this is a wish coming true. This is receiving that one thing you always wanted or the one, the one thing you worked really hard for because with justice together, it's time and energy put in. Also, it has a lot to do with feeling spiritually aligned with what you're doing. What is going on my throat chakra? <laughs> I don't know. Let's do some meditation on that later on. <clears throat> this star card. Why is the star card here? Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune, all right. Okay, Scorpios, things are about to shift. You really are getting your payout. This is a big payout. It, whether that's something that makes you just extremely happy or feeling like really um, seen or appreciated, or it's actually coins, actually a payout of money. Uh, something you got coming for you okay it is something connected to that it was written in the stars it was always supposed to go this way it was always meant to happen in this time in this order that's what's what i'm seeing for you guys here we have the flip over the eight of cups very strong storyline how beautiful is this eight of cups though with the moon you guys see, I do have my own moon over here. It's actually prettier from close up because right now it just looks like it's just a ball, but it actually has that um, texture of a moon. It's beautiful. Wow, the temperance with the full, oh, Scorpio, it's about to go down for you guys. Let me see, the temperance, the full, I still can't get over how beautiful this deck is. Like, honestly, look at these wings of oh, the temperance card, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's so stunning. Shout out to my girlfriend for giving me such a beautiful deck for my birthday. There we go. We got your the rest of your cards. 
Okay. Wow. Ooh, I'm excited. Like I'm all like. <laughs> Um, then we have the Sun card, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles in them. Ah, uh, Scorpios. Beautiful. I love the fact that we're just jumping in and letting the cards speak for them for themselves this this month. The temperance brings in balance. Some of you have been putting in a lot of time and energy into a person. Uh, maybe into a job or working for a certain company, which requires you to give a lot, of, like a lot of free time and you know a lot of extra weekends and a lot of all of that. You know, um, what I see with this is that you're taking a moment to really nurture yourself but also your dreams and your goals you're walking away from um, things that are just no no longer serving you or doing anything for you whether it's people whether it's a place whether it's a certain job it's you really are walking away from something because you need some distance it's not necessarily like I'm walking away I'm never going back and I'm never learning looking back and I have all these feelings and emotions about it. it's like no I'm taking a break I'm, I'm walking taking some steps away from everything that I'm emotionally attached to or in any sort of way brings up certain type of emotions and you are just putting yourself first in a very beautiful way because you're just excited about this new chapter you're excited about um, Maybe going deeper into a spiritual quest. Maybe you are um, exploring something like you've just recently find a, refined a passion of yours that you used to do when you were younger, and you just are excited to explore the options. That's what I'm feeling. I also see that there's this new beginning for you, and everything that's connected to your soul's purpose to this journey is so fruitful like wow you have the sun you have the beautiful temperance card you are have the wheel of fortune the star the queen of wands coming through with the nine of pentacles and the ace of wands and in the middle of all of that is the tree of swords that's the heart of it all and it's all based on trying to do stuff in a certain way but feeling like you just keep walking into that wall of like i am doing it i'm making other people happy with it i'm putting all my time and energy and effort into it but i'm walking into this wall when it comes to i don't feel it like i don't feel 100 percent connected whether it's a person or whether it's a house whether it's a place it's about there's something missing and you're going on this quest of like, I want to feel that fulfillment. I want to feel like I'm, I'm, I'm standing in the middle of my purpose. Like it's a per and when you want to do what you were meant to do in that moment in time of your life, it's a different type of feeling. It's a feeling of, um, the feeling you can have when you, for example, have a very important meeting or you have, a place where you need to do a um you know you have to do <laughs> what's the word i'm sorry um give like a workshop at, at somewhere or you know tell your own story about something and you have to get up on stage for in front of people and the whole build up towards that right it's like okay you're putting in all this time and energy to learning your lines or to write this 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 thing down and, and work it out basically so you can go out and step onto that stage and perform or or share your knowledge and it's that whole build up feeling and then once you're done and you're getting the applause and you get off that feeling of like wow i just did what i what i was supposed to do it's like that feeling of fulfillment like now this is the completion that applause the done the release of it the stress is gone the nervousness is gone you're done you did it it's over with that feeling almost is where you're sort of searching for and i just feel that you're planting all these seeds you've been putting in you know little seeds and it's starting to grow and grow and 
it's it's like you're away like i spoke about this as well in the other reading of like whatever is going on in the household is not her focus her focus is what she got going on in her own garden away from the house away from work away from the things that you know occupy you on a daily basis it's about you being here in the present moment and focusing on you know harvesting what you've ba basically um created what has grown of that and i just see that this this is a new beginning growing out of all of that a passionate new beginning For some of you who were dealing with a Leo and you know things have been coming to an end lately, I really see that you're choosing to be single and to start new and fresh. Like it's a newness, it's a new beginning for you and you're over like feeling a certain way, feeling left out, feeling misunderstood by this Leo, okay? That's not for all of you but I wanted to make sure that you know like um, that that's, that is what's coming true. Overall there's such strong feminine energy coming through for this month and also that emotional feeling like the emotions can sort of overtake you is what it's being balanced because i think you've been putting uh, giving out all these cups and now you just keep it pouring you know stuff into your own cup so what i'm feeling with the temperance over here see how divine this, these these women are all of them in your reading like there's such strong feminine energy coming through it's beautiful it's gracefully it's it's divine almost what i'm feeling with this energy so whatever is hidden with the moon energy is coming to light it's all out in the open and it's also like you're stepping out into the open. This is what I've been working on. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm from now on going to commit to. And sharing and showing that to the world. Let's see what else is coming out. With this Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups. All right. This could mean that somebody is coming towards you, sharing their cup with you. It's an offer. It's a nine of cups. It's an offer of an apology, an offer of a new beginning. And let's see how you respond to that. Nine of wands. Okay. Passionate. A new beginning in emotion, a new beginning in 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 um, action. You act upon your emotions, what I'm feeling. And also quickly. Like no waiting around, no maybe ifs or buts or anything. It's about I feel this and I'm acting upon it. And it's both in a night energy. So that's like your new beginning. It's like I'm starting to... Yes, and the Empress coming through. Wow. Like this is the owner of a beautiful garden, right? And this is the own owner of the whole park. All right. <laughs> this is a garden. This is the entire park. So I just feel that you have multiple suitors. Okay, Scorpio. If this is for my single Scorpios out there. Once you remove yourself from this energy and you uh, in embracing your 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 singlehood or just anything like that, you're embracing this new start, this new beginning. Multiple offers will come in, and they're all like, um, because the empress, right? I always say like, she is a queen. She's maybe even more than a queen. She's the empress. She embodies that, um, just that beautiful energy. She's very self-assured she knows her words knows how to take care of herself body her body her mind her spirit and it's very evolved in that can't just 
caught her off guard and she changes her entire life for them right it's not about that it's about what she's built on her own it's very an, an individual journey in a also emotionally independent she doesn't chase though she's a very approachable queen the empress very approachable very open very kind very loving but she's not leaving her throne for anybody she's not about to 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 um chase these knight of cups knight of wands energy so i do see multiple suitors but you have found such stability in in yourself you know your worth your self-worth and value is so stable is about to become so stable that you can trust yourself when it comes to love i feel like you're starting to trust yourself you know how to make the right decision and you're not acting out of a low energy frequency of feeling like you might be fearful of like ending up alone or like you know maybe it's all that i deserve no it's like you know what you're deserving you're not settling for less beautiful you're not kicking them out the moment they come in but it's about okay show me your offer <laughs> you got anything to offer knight of cups what's in that cup of yours right so what a wonderful reading for my scorpios it's, it's i'm very curious about how this is playing out and just enjoy and jump into this new journey of yours it's very beautiful if you're dealing with somebody i'm doing the love readings as well for coupled scorpios and also for single scorpios so don't worry about that we will definitely jump more into love into the love readings um this is more your own spiritual beautiful journey like it's gorgeous i'd like to frame this reading for you guys <laughs> all right let's move into the pick a card reading I'm gonna get three cards out on the table and you can choose your extra message for this month mm, i'm going to pick up a different deck i'm gonna have to get it out of the box i just feel guided to use this because the universe guide us this reading all the way so might as well pick up the universe has your back deck and let's see what your affirmation is for this month Three cards for my Scorpios, please, for the month of September. Three cards for my Scorpios. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. That's your three cards. No, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, I'm going to pick this one extra. I'm sorry, Scorpio. It really looked like it was, you see, nothing is what it seems. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Scorpio, card number one. Your affirmation is, I am the loving energy of the universe. I am the loving energy of the universe. Embody that energy. That's your affirmation for this month. Number two. I create mindful moments throughout the day reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural natural right so one more time I create mindful moments throughout the day reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural so take a moment to ground yourself I am love and miracles are natural just keep repeating that to bring in the good things okay here we have the third card. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost. So coming into that power, finding your way home again. Beautiful message. So the energy of love will give you the words you need the compassion you need and the power so speak up speak from a place of love it's very important for this month it's all about love i am love i'm the loving energy i'm using tapping into the energy of love beautiful scorpio okay thank you so much the love readings will be out soon uh i love you guys and we'll be back in a couple days all right 
um, enjoy yourself enjoy this new energy that's surrounding you guys and um, feel free to leave a comment if you want to you know share some feedback with me on the reading if it resonated or not and um, um, have a lovely day bye Scorpios